the day that Putin came to power, day one, he called up the TV channel, he spoke to the main person, and he, he said, you can continue doing the show, two demands. You never fun, make fun of the president. You never, ever make fun of the president. And they had a bunch of other things that they wanted. And the satirist refused, the channel got shut down, taken away from the people who owned it. They were persecuted and left Russia. And the main satirist, a, a man called Viktor Shenderovich, has never worked in that way again. Satire is very valuable. It is unique, it is very rare. It is rare to have a society where the powerful are up for scrutiny in that way and are up for laugh in that way. And it's very, very important. That's why I always defend the comedian's right to experiment and play and make mistakes. It's very important uh, because without it, there is no comedy. There is no humor because we never know. I don't know. I'm going to go on stage tonight with some new material. 10% of it is going to be good. 90% of it is going to be terrible. That's how it always works. Wish I could be there. <laughs> I wish you would. I hope you don't come. <laughs> I'm going to make sure you don't come and I'm not going to tell you where it is. <laughs> But that's how, that's how it works. So uh, we have to preserve the right of comedians, but actually everybody, to make mistakes. We didn't have satire in the Soviet Union. We did not have satire in the Soviet Union. In Stalinist Russia, if you made a joke, even privately, that got passed down to the authorities, you would be killed. You'd be sent to the gulag and worked to death, or you'd be shot. Even in 1990s Russia, when Boris Yeltsin, the first president of Russia, came to power, we had a brief moment when there was a liberalization, there was an opening up, and we had the equivalent of, uh, it was a puppet show equivalent to Spitting Image. And you guys had your own one in Australia, I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, I remember it, but I don't remember what it was called either. Well, you, I, was on, I was on a TV program with Julia Gillard recently, talking right. about it actually, interestingly. Uh, so. It was the first time in modern history, or in, well, any, probably in any history of Russia, frankly, where you could see the people in power be brought down a notch and be made fun of. And I remember as a young boy, I would have been 12, the whole family, and this was true of all my family friends and everybody would be sitting down whenever that show was on and watching it because it was so revolutionary. It was incredible. Yeah. Thank you.